Welcome to tonight's game. I'm Amber Griffin. Along with me today is Trey Martin. We have the Brighton Hurricanes against the Lady Warriors. Trey, can you tell me something about this game, you know? Well, I know in the past couple of years, the Bryant girls team hasn't uh, been very good. But this year, they are pretty good. And uh, the last time the Warriors and the Hurricanes met, it was a close one with the Warriors winning 50 to 46. Yes. On the previous games from last year, the Bryant Hurricanes, they wasn't that much of a competition. But this year, they came out, I guess all of them are seniors, and they just, you know, cool, you know, just combined and everyone is just showing out. Bryant Hurricanes have a excellent record this year. So now we have Kala Thomas. She just missed that three she attempted, but now she just stole the ball right back and she passes to Kelsey Thomas. Kelsey Thomas is an eighth grader. She goes to Denton Middle School, but she came over to help the Davidson Warriors. That's out on the Bryan Hurricane. Ari Wally with the ball, number 32. She drives in and she missed it. Number 35 with the rebound. Going up the court, uh, she was wide open. She could have taken that shot. She's one of their most three-point players. She can really score and get the ball in the basket. Number 33, Lauren with the rebound. We have Ari Wiley driving it up the court, and she dishes it off to number three, Collis Thomas, and she misses once again. You know, she's just warming up. That's all she's doing. Collis Thomas is a very athletic player. She can run the court, play great defense, and she's also an awesome shooter. Number two, up the court. Nice pass. So it seems like the Warriors know their every move. They are out here playing like the Warriors. Yeah, it's a close game so far with only the score being uh, two to zero. Two to zero, but it seems like Bryant is really taking over tonight. And tonight's game is two to zero, and they're just taking over getting all of the rebounds. Number two and one muscle her way in, grabbed the rebound over three of the Davidson Warriors players and put it right back in the basket. Yeah, these Warriors need to figure something out with these uh, rebounding. Or else yes. it's going to be a long game. Exactly, Trey. Kelsey Thomas, this is what she's known for, for shooting at a long range shot. This girl, I was talking to her earlier in the game and she said her highest point was 42 points in one game and she's only an 8th grader. Like, what else? Well, by the time she gets to 12th grade, I'm pretty sure she's going to be dunking. And she drives in. Oh, and it's block by number 12. What a nice block. What a nice block, because for sure I thought Kelsey Tom Thompson was going to go in and lay up the ball. But no, number 12, she proved me wrong. And it's tonight's first foul. Bright first team at the free throw line. Number two. Number two shoots, and she will score. The Hurricanes lead by three. Not two, excuse me. Well, Davidson needs to pick it up. It's not much of a lead so far. They can definitely come back as if they are going for. But right now, it seems like Bryant has the game in control. And she dishes it out. To Kaya Field, it's a foul. And tonight we have the crowd, the students coming out, students, parents.
parents, everyone coming out to support the Davidson Warriors on the left side. On the right side, you have the Bryant Hurricane student section. And Kelsey Thomas throw it away. Boom. Oh, that has to be the craziest play ever. She just let her get the ball. That's not how you play basketball. I'm pretty sure the coach is not going to like that. Now the Bright Hurricanes lead Davidson Warriors 7-3. to three. Now they are just throwing up shots for desperation. Great rebound by Lauren Creer. Three by Ari Wally, and she does not make the book, make the basket. Now number 22 is running down the court. Number 21 really is a force to be reckoned with when she's uh, driving in the paint. Yes. Man. She comes, she comes off as a sweet person, but on the court, oh no, she's, she's a demon because she don't, she really don't care. She will jump over your head. She will fight for the rebound. She's a very tough player. She'll miss her uh, first rebound. And now she'll just like this. Right, second time going to Right, this is right. Going to the free throw line, and they may well miss zero out of four. Davidson not really looking like themselves this game, at least this far. Not at all. Maybe it's Bryant just wants it more than them. Exactly, but Davidson is known for coming back. They have a nice team to come back, and you know they can they can really do it. They just have to get their minds in the game. They have nice shooters. They just need to get into that motion. It's early on in the game. They need to get onto that motion. And, you know, we had a long break. They supposed to play them early this week, but we had a long break because yeah. of the weather. So that's what it might be because of the weather. Lord Prayer with the ball. She's looking for someone to help. It's like everyone is shying away from the ball. Kelsey Thomas, number 23, she's the, she scored the only points for that. Third three drives in. Boom, and she's fouled. She will be fouled. Davidson's first time going to the free throw line. It's 8-3 to three with 1 minute and 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. She'll make her first shot as number 20 comes in the game for number two. Number 20, Deja Betty. She comes into the game. Deja has been on this team for four years now. And they are running a press. Seems like they are lost to me. Oh, Number man. 21. Wide open. Once again. Now he can't call the timeout. The Davidson Warriors is down by five points. But, Trey, did you like the break that we had this weekend? Oh, yeah. Well, not this weekend. It felt like this weekend. Mm -hmm. But it was actually during the week. Did you like I it? I loved it. Only having a two day school week. That was great. So, what? What did you do? I know it really didn't get it snow for real down here. There's ice everywhere. Like, did you try to go ice skating in yeah. the street? You just stayed in the house? Really? I just caught up on my sleep. Yeah. I just really, I game freaked the whole time. Game freaked the whole time. But I love to see this competition. The Bryant Hurricane is really shocking everyone this year with their actions on the court. They have one of the best records so far. 
Yeah, Bryant really looking like the better team here. Uh, being up by five. They're playing more physical and just passing the ball more. And Davis is what's messing them up. They are lost on defense. Yeah, they really need to find a way to stop number 21 on the, when uh, she's uh, in the paint. Number 20, Deja Bettis with the rebound. Great rebound, Deja. Number 23, passes the ball up to number 32, and she is fouled by number 22. I think number 22 is her second foul so far from this game. But now the Davidson Warriors, it seems like they've got a little energy tonight, and they are here to play. 7 to 10. 53 seconds in the first quarter. And she scores her first best. Number Davidson making some substitutions. Number 21, Tamara Wordham. Well, Tamara, she's just coming off of a hip injury. She just injured herself, I want to say about two months ago, and she's just coming back. Kelsey Thomas with the rebound and put back. It's 10 to 10, tied up. Great pass by number 35 for the Bryant Hurricanes. Number 22, this is her second three of the game. She's really lining it up on the court tonight. I'm pretty sure they're going to take it from here. Drawn out by number 23, Kelsey Thompson. If that was an accurate pass, that might have been a, a three right there. Exactly, and Ari is a very nice shooter, but Kelsey is not on her game right now. She scored a three earlier in tonight's game. And she plows her way in. Man, that is something. Number 21 plows her way in again. She just treated them like trash out there. And that's the end of the first quarter, with the score being 10 to 14 in way of the uh, hurricane. I'm looking forward for this being a close game. Mm -hmm. Either Brian win about five, or Davidson win about one point. Yeah. It's gonna be a close one either way it goes. Carla Tom Thomas checks back in for the Lady Warriors. Number 34, Kaya Fields. She's only 14. I asked her what was her highest point in her basketball career. She said 27 points. Damn. So she's really doing it big out there on the court. Kelsey Thompson with the ball. Kaya Field sets the pick for Crystal Hawthorne. And Kyla shoots the ball. She's been off today, just throwing up shots for real. Number two lays the ball up. That was a nice shot, but it really didn't go in. Kelsey Thomas racing down the court, and she stumbles her way in, and she's fouled by number 11 from the Bryant Hurricanes. She'll shoot too. I think this is Davis' fourth, fourth time going to the free throw line. They've missed about, I want to say about one or two points so far from the free throw line. They've done better than Bryant at the free throw line so far. They really need to get all the free throws they can. Exactly. Being that this game is going to be a close one. All the free throws they can. Kyla forces the Bryant players to knock it out of bounds. Great defense, Kyla. Kyla Thomas with the three. And she misses. Kelsey Thomas put it back up. 
And she now has, I want to say, about six points so far. Kai Fields with the steal. Pop throw and race up the court, and she scores the basket. Krista Hawthorne is one of the fastest player in this in this whole region for females basketball. She her speed is incredible. It's crazy. The Lady Warriors with four fouls so far, and a bright hurricane with five. All right, Wiley with the steal, and she missed oh, the back to the Crystal Hawthorne with. Arbody with the three! This is her first three of the game. Like I said, the Lady Warriors are bound to come back. It's only right for them to come back. These girls are incredible shooters, and when they make it... Man, Davidson just being manhandled by number 21 for the Hurricanes. I think every time she's drived in, she scored. Exactly, but that ref, I wish they had a review camera because how in the world could they call it a foul when she puts her to the ground? So, they allow second chance points. That's what's really messing them up. The Davidson Warriors free throws is what's keeping them in the game. As long as they can keep making their free throws, I think they're good to go. by herself. She's back there by herself. Like, the Davis Warriors really need to wake up on defense. Oh, and it almost went in by Kelsey Thompson. And number 22 just drives right in and scores like it's nothing. And foul by number 22. 21, Adaya Matthews. We've been calling her name all night tonight. All night she's been showing out for the Bryant Hurricane. Number 33, Lauren Prairie just checked in. She's a junior. All these girls on the court for the Davidson Warriors, they are young, except for Ara Wiley, she's a senior. So basically, so basically, Coach Shipp has a very young team. All of them are young. And they're, if they're playing like this, just imagine when they get a 12th grade. Stolen by Ari Wally, and she scores with her third steal of the night. Davidson with the lead now, 22 to 20, with 4.55 left to go in the second half, second quarter. And she's fouled every time she goes and for a layup, she fouled. It's like they cannot stop her for nothing. She fouled every time. Way to go, Dyer Matthews. Shot 
she'll miss the first free throw. They really haven't done good on their free throws tonight. If they would have made half of the free throws, it would be 22 to 28. But instead, they've let the Davidson Warriors get the lead, and that was 22 to 20. Davidson's starting to show a little bit of life coming back and taking the lead. Yes, Trey. They, you really can't doubt the Lady Warriors because, you know, they've been down by more points than this. Or, you know, more points. And they came all the way back and won the basketball game. It's just them. But the battle of the regions, like, I really want to see who's going to take this crown. Last game, the Warriors came out with the victory, 50 to 46. And we want to see what what tonight score is going to look like. Wow, and she missed that free throw terribly. So we know what they need to work on to practice. Yeah. At least we know that. Coach Chip being very vocal on the bench. Good shot by number 23, Kelsey Thompson. And she attempted to score the basket, number 11, going up. Oh, but she's terrible. Lucky break for the Warriors right there. Goes by her back, crosses the girl over, she loses the ball. Swing it to Collins Thomas. She drives in and she shoots the jump shot. Rebound by Lauren Prayer. Rebound again by Lauren Prayer. She's fouled by number 20, the Bryant Hurricane. Lauren Prayer is really showing out tonight. Crystal Hawthorne has been very quiet tonight. She's she's a very funny kid and she's fast. She usually gets gets the most steals out of the game, but tonight she's been very quiet. I was talking to her earlier and she said, I want you to tell the people that my favorite food is chicken. Well actually shrimp alfredo. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm hungry. Lunch food, really. What did we have? Your cheeseburgers today. I really don't. I tend to stay away from food cheeseburgers. Rosetta Atchison, number 22, has checked into the ball game. Oh, nice help by Rosetta Atchison. Nice help. to win this game. Stolen by number 32, and she passes it off to Ar Oh, and she misses. Travel by number 12. She grabbed the rebound, but she traveled tremendously. Three by Kelsey Thompson. She boosts the score up to 29 to 20. Started by Rosetta Atchison, she goes down the court, and she is fouled by number 12. Man, Davidson on a tear right now. Rosetta Atchison is breaking out of her shell tonight, and she's showing the coach that, hey, you can't put me in the game more. Nice shot by Rosetta Edgerton, making her first free throw out of two. And that'll put Davidson up by 10 with 2.57 left to go before 
Left up. And she misses. Lauren puts back up. And she misses again. And Crystal steals the ball. Oh, and she is fouled by number two on the Bryant Hurricane. The Bryant Hurricane seems a little fatigued out there. Yeah. A little tired. With the Hawthorne making her first shot. They've done great on their free throws tonight. Only missing two free throws out of ten. Lauren re with the rebound. Number 35 got the rebound, but she threw it away. I think now it will be a good time for the coach to call a timeout just to get them back pumping. Yeah, the hurricane's not looking so well, and you can see it all over their head coach's face. Three by number one, Crystal Hawthorne. All of them are great shooters. They really can shoot the ball well. Foul by number 22, Rosetta Atkinson. They're going to line it up at the free throw line for a one and one. Well, excuse me, two. Nice passing by the Warriors. They've really gotten this game like they wanted to. Good. Good fight by Rosetta Etchison. She got up and she got the ball and she forced it to become a jump ball. Way to go, Rosetta Etchison. the Lady Warriors, leading by 16 points. Yeah, Davidson on the tear right now. From a one, a one point being down five, and now up 16. Nice pass by Ari Wiley. And Rosetta Edgerson was fouled by number 12. That's all they have been doing really tonight is fouling and put the Warriors at the free throw line and the Warriors have been making their free throws. Yeah. She made her first shot. Nice job, Rosetta Edge. The Hurricanes, number three, coming in for number 12. And once Davidson gets back from halftime, they don't need to let up at all. Rosetta Edson with the end one. This girl is on fire tonight. Who's stopping Rosetta Edson? I don't see. She's on fire tonight. She'll make that, and the Warriors will be up by 21 with about a minute 30 left to go until half. And Adaya, she's trying to get them back into the game. She forces the Warriors to foul. And of course, who else gets it besides number 21 down low? Exactly. It's like they're passing her the ball. Everybody knows she's going to get the ball. So what they they already know they already know 
the Bryant Hurricanes play now. And when she gets to the free throw line, she misses it. So, hey, why not foul? Yeah. There's a make right there of many misses. So, the Hurricanes have not been very good on the free throw line today. By Lauren Breer. She punks fake. She punks fake. The defender. It goes up for the, the point. Ma'am. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Destiny Holcomb checks in the game. She's only in the 11th grade. She's a dominant player for JV, but the coach lets her play for the varsity. Let her get a feel of what varsity looks like. So she'll be ready when she hits the 12th grade. If the Bryant Hurricanes don't come out ready to play the second half, it's going to be a blowout. It's going to be a blowout. I didn't expect it to be this way, but hey. Nice pass by Ari Wally, but Lauren Prayer could not seem to connect to the best. Number two dribbling down the court. Number 22 drives in. She passes, but Lauren Prayer, Lauren Prayer tips it. Number 21 at the free throw line again. Wow, just thinking about how many points they could have had if they was to score and make their free throws. Yeah, this just shows you how important free throws are. Yes, free throws are very important. The one thing you don't really think about in the game, it, it's really important. And she's made two consecutive free throws so far. 20 seconds left in the ball game until halftime. Pretty sure they're just going to run down the clock and wait for, you know, halftime. Go in the classroom, talk things over. Pick by number 33, Lauren Prier. She passed to R. Wally. R. Wally drives in, and she scores Makes the basket. It. Number 32, she scores the buzzer beater. Way to go, R. Wally. Well, folks, that's the half. Uh, Davidson 44, Alma Bryant Hurricanes 22. And we will see you after the break. First period, it really didn't look so tight for them. But now, it's starting to look like a great game for the Lady Warriors. And you know, Alma Bryant, they were on point. Yeah. Yeah. They were on point. Ari Wally. Now she's so excited about this game. Catch us second half.
We are in here tonight against the Alvin Bryant Hurricane and the Lady Warriors. It's 44 to 27. Halftime, it wasn't a very great look for them. What did you see first half? Oh, first half, um, Davidson couldn't get a rebound and they were just giving the paint every single time. But they stepped up the game a little bit, starting in rebounds and got on some hot streaks, scoring about 10 points to Bryant scoring none, so. First, first quarter was just awful for the Lady Warriors. It's like they couldn't get anything in the basket, anything to go their way. But the second quarter, they did, you know, get better and they improved tremendously on their offense. They, they improved a lot. So now the score is 45 to 27. Yeah, well now 46, 27 with uh, Davidson making the free throw right there. They've been doing really nice on the free throws. Haven't really missed any for real, for real. North Korea with the foul, number 33. That's who they've really been trying to get the ball to, number 21, Adaya, Bryant, Hurricane. They've got this little play set up. Now everyone, you know, on the court knows it, so they know who to guard, Adaya Matthews. Number 22. It's like Bryant, they came back energetic. That came back energetic. Scoring two threes already with a jump shot. Number 22, Rosetta Atchison checking in. Well, I'm sorry. Number 22, Rosetta Atchison. Atchison. She showed up in tonight in the first half. She really showed up. Scoring five points. Great steal by Lauren Greer. She tried. Man, Davidson looking really sloppy on offense to start the second half. Just like first quarter, it's like they're doing the same thing, going up there, playing around, not really hyped. And stolen and by Rosetta Atchison, number 22, going up the court, and she's fouled. It seems like it just takes this Davidson team a little bit to warm up. Exactly. It but once them. they get going, they go. Exactly. They are, they are one of the best shooting teams in Mobile, everyone on the court can shoot a three. Kind of reminded me of the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, yeah, that's a good comparison. Nice shot by Rosetta Edgerton. Now she has six points so far in the ball game. She's really improving tonight. She's hustling, forcing turnovers, stealing the ball, and driving to get the re to get the foul. Yeah. Number 22 on Bryant with the steal. Number 22, Rosetta Edgerton with the rebound. Great hustle. She's really hustled. She's yeah. all over the court tonight. That's all we are saying tonight is Rosetta Edgerton. Number three with the ball for the Bryant Hurricanes. Swing it to number two. Dribbles. The Hurricanes doing a lot of passing. Right now. Nice steal by Ari Wallace. They know their play now. There's really no stopping them now. They know what, what to expect. And one by Adalia Matthews. She muscles her way through the to the basket and 
she scores. Man, Bryant slowly coming back. Davidson only scoring um, three points to Bryant scoring ten. Not looking good for the Warriors right now. Davidson really needing to score this right here. Nice shot by number three, Kala Thomas, with her first score of the game. Number 22 with the rebound. Number 23, Kelsey Thompson. She has 13 points in tonight's game. Looking for four more. And she shoots it from the volleyball line with an air ball. She can make those shots. She's just really not. And number 21, Adia Matthews with the layup. Easy bucket. And a steal by Adalia Matthews. A, number 22 crosses number one over Crystal Hawthorne. Number two with the three, and she missed the ball. Number 22, Rosetta Edgerton with the rebound. It seems to me like Crystal can't find the ball. Throw it to, too far. Man, Davidson. The Davidson girl is just not playing their basketball right there. Turning it over, throwing wild passes. I mean, that can't happen if you want to win. They really need to get it together here. It's 48 to 34. That's a, you know, wide score. But the Bryant Hurricanes is bound to come back. They really can with a nice shooting. They can. And Adaya Matthews, she's a threat. They just keep inching their way back. Lauren Pryor playing a nice defense against Adaya Matthews. Number, 33, number 32, excuse me. She goes up for the rebound. Nice pass. All right, she missed the ball, rebound. 23, Kelsey Thompson. Well, Coach Shilton calls a timeout to let the girls have a break. It's 50 to 34. This score is getting worse. By the yeah, we got 2.32 left in the third period. So, there's still time to come back for the Hurricanes. They can definitely, definitely come back. I know coming into tonight's game, they didn't expect it to be this way. They expected a closer game than this. To remind you, to remind you guys again, the last game was 50 to 46, and they didn't really get beaten by that many points. So it's 50 to 34 right now, and it's really not looking so good for the Brian Hurricanes. So it seems like Davidson is playing man to man defense. And let's talk about the playoffs. Davidson hasn't beat McGill Tulin this year. The girls. They haven't beat McGill Tulin Tulin this year. And that's who they have to play in the second round. Meanwhile, Murphy beat McGill Tulin 
by one. Let's see. So they have to, in order for them to play against, you know, McGill Tulin, they have to get through Murphy Panthers. You know, they're going against some tough competitors in Dothan. When they go to Dothan, it's going to be a nice game to watch. for the boys game to watch the yep. boys game. Nice steal by number 23, Kelsey Thompson with Crystal Hawthorne. She's also been solid into, in this half. Second half, she's been very solid. With 28 seconds left in the third quarter, Davidson Warrior had a nice offense so far. Lady Warriors coach is very upset about that play. I'm guessing he really wanted those seconds to just go ahead and knock out those seconds. Yeah, only 15 seconds left. Oh, crossed over by number 22. But still, nice defense by number one, Crystal Hawthorne. Number 21 checked in with 7.7 .7 seconds to go. Nice defense by Tamara Wurzel. And that is the third quarter. Warriors 50, Thelma Bryant Hurricanes 34. Well, we got one more quarter. We'll one see how this game turns out. Could be a blowout, could be a close one. We don't know until what happens. I'm expecting the Bryant Hurricanes to come back. I'm not going to doubt them. They just have to fight their way. They have to play very hard defense on the Lady Warriors. They cannot slack. Because the Lady Warriors, they, they're trying to take this home. They're in, in, their, in their home gym. They already beating them at theirs. So, hey. Jim. by number 21. Number 
33 with the ball. Number 34 with the nice pick. 23 goes over and she passed the ball to 21. 21 seems like she wasn't ready. That's Tamara Wortham. Seems like she didn't even know that pass was coming toward yeah. her. But you always supposed to be ready when you're on the court. Adaya Martin. In tonight's game, Adaya has majority of the points for the Bright Hurricane. Starts to make her free throws. Oh, Carla Th Thomas. She's really been off tonight in tonight's game. But she's playing nice defense to recover that. Pushed off by Daya Tom. Uh, excuse me, by Daya Martin. Now only down by 13. Nice pack by Adaya, excuse me, by Adaya Martin. This girl is an athlete, all around player. She can block shots, play nice defense. It's all there. Number three, Maya really has some tall players. And it's really an advantage for them, but they're not using it the way they should. Yeah. And Adaya scores once again. Warriors are leading by 11 points. Whenever 21 is in the paint, she gets whatever she wants. And they've been blocking the ball ever since. Number 20 goes on the court. She scores. Now it's only cut down to nine points with six minutes left in the ball game. The Bryant Hurricanes are proving everybody wrong. They came all the way back. They're forcing turnovers, blocking the ball, and putting defense on the Lady Warriors. Way to go, Bryant. Bryant fighting really hard to get this lead back. Ah, oh, travel. It really didn't look like a travel to me, but maybe it was. Hey, that's the ref job. He yeah. knows what he's doing. And as you see, more Bryant students walking in the building here to support their team. Number 23, Kelsey Thompson with the miss. 22. And Adaya, she misses it, misses it. Oh. oh. Sil being silent and clapping for her when she got up. Mm -hmm. It's never good to see a player goes down. Seems like the trainer came out here and got everything situated. But now it's game time. Bright Hurricanes, they are here to win it, as you see. They came all the way back. Ari Wally with the steal, and she scores the bucket. That'll put the Warriors up by 11 with just about five minutes to go. Nice defense by Ari Wally. Now this, the Warriors are basically trying to put this game in the trash. They're trying to throw this game away, get it over with, and be done. Number 22, 
driving down the court, and she draws a foul. Number 32, R. Wally, fouled. Now, reflecting back on free throws, they really did horrible the first half with their free throws. And it seems like, you know, they're doing okay this half. But just thinking about if they would have had scored most all of their free throws last half, this would have been probably a close game. Mm -hmm. A close game. A, a really close game. Ari Wally. She's been phenomenal tonight. Really good at keeping on her back. And, you know, playing nice defense. She has about four, four steals. She draw, drove in. Two fouls tonight, and you know, she really good. Daisy Bennett has. Defense by Crystal Hawthorne. She's all over the place, all over the defender. 
number 22 playing defense. Adaya with the ball. Number 22, she hustles on the ground. Good job, Rosetta Exton. This girl, I, I can't believe it. Like, Rosetta is in the 12th grade. She was the mascot for the Daisy Warrior football team. She was the mascot this year. She said she wanted to try something different. She has a whole lot of energy. And she said, why not waste it on being the mascot? Piping up the crowd, cheering, and she was an incredible mascot for the football team. Hope for the Hurricanes starting to diminish. Being dealt by nine with a minute 40 to go. They can really pull this off. They just have to keep the Warriors' offense at a stable level. They cannot let the Warriors come back. Or they cannot let the Warriors, excuse me, they cannot let the Warriors get a lot of points. They have to cut it down. They have to foul. Put, well, fouling not the best thing, but just by stopping the clock, that's what they will have to do. Rosetta Atchison dribbling up the court. She passed to number 32. It seems like they are pressing right now. Number 32 passes, she's running all through the team. This it off to number 22, Rosetta Atkinson, she passes. They are really trying to, you know, run down the clock right now. First the hop on. That's exactly what they're doing, running down the clock. Really not trying to score that much. Doing, trying to stop the clock. It's 55 seconds left for going to go into this, tonight's game. I think this is it. They could have pulled it off, but the Warriors' defense and the Warriors' offense stopped them from that. Well, next we have the boys game. Davidson Warriors versus the Bryant Hurricanes. It's really time to get physical. I know this is going to be a physical game, but the Davidson Warriors lost to the Bryant Hurricanes last time they were playing up against them. It really wasn't a bad game. I, don't, I think they probably won about Bright Hurricanes probably won, no, by six at the most. Well, basically what they're doing is trying to foul now, but it's really no way possible that they can really come back with 44 seconds left to go down by 11. Yeah, it looks like... From what I can see, the Warriors are going to take home the victory. Warriors are going to take home the victory. They're down by 12 now. Ari Wally with the free throw. The Lady Warriors really play a nice game starting from the second half. Start, excuse me, starting from the second quarter. Now that we know that really the Lady, Lady Warriors, that's all they need is some energy. Yeah. Up. They're still fouling. It's really not going to make it next but it's yeah, like it's a blowout in really Game. 
final seconds are going down in tonight's game. Adaya. Now I think it's just they're fouling just to foul. Fouling just to foul. Cause yeah, there's no sense in doing this. I mean, just accept the defeat and pack your things and go home. I mean, it's 24 seconds left. If they couldn't get up by now, I'm pretty sure they can't get out. Get up now. You know, it's no way. So Coach Ship, he's just checking in. People. Number 25, Destiny Hoka. Number 34, Kyle Field. They've been very quiet tonight in the game. Deji Bettis is missing the first free throw attempt. She makes the second go now. It's a bigger lead than what it was. They should just stop the clock. And scoring by number 22. Well, I guess he can score 10 points. I guess he has that much faith in his team that he can score 10 points. In That's a lot of faith. A lot of faith. He can score 16, and, well, excuse me, in 16 seconds he can score 10 points, I guess so. That's all Davidson has to do, just hold the clock. Bryant, they're going to foul, but, I mean. Long game. I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. A long game. I'm pretty sure these girls are tired. The coaches need to let the score run, be ran down, and leave it at that. Yeah. Really, all they're doing right here by fouling is prolonging their defeat. Okay. I mean, there is no sense in this at all. If the game was if he was down by five or six, but he's nearly down by eleven now. So what possibly can he do? What can he do? Number 22 just scored a three. once again with 4.8 seconds to go. Number 22 lining up at the free throw line, Rosetta Edgerton. She's been a phenomenal player this game. She really, she really didn't do anything wrong at all. She's been a phenomenal player. Second. All her free throws. I think she won. one. This girl. She's in double digits. She hit double digits tonight. Well, the game is over. 60 to 51. Davidson Warriors with the victory. They beat Albert Bryant at they beat Aberbrock at their house, and now they've beaten them at their house. We will catch you guys next.
against the Lady, excuse me, the Bryant Hurricanes and the Davidson Warriors. 